And today our story is going to be about money. Hello, Agape family. This is Sister Marcy Johnson, servant leader of Agape's Children's Ministry. And our story today is about money. As you all know, I have the privilege of living with my grandchildren. That means I can talk to them every day, and we usually have a question of the day. Today, our question was, what do you think of when I say money? So I will read from the board their answers. Vacation, recreation, having fun, buying things, money doesn't make you happy, food, bills, going to a yard sale. Those are all wonderful answers and fun answers. And you know, as an adult, I don't really like talking about money all the time, but children love talking about money. Why? Because they can buy things. Today our story is titled, In God We Trust. The author of the story is Larry Burkett. Larry Burkett was a financial expert and he wrote this wonderful book to teach children how to save, how to spend, and how to give. So join me in the story. In God We Trust, a Christian kid's guide to saving, spending, and giving. Hi, I'm Penny, and here's my friend Nick. We're counting our money and counting it quick. We'll save it, we'll spend it, we'll give it away, and plan what to do with our money each day. God gives us good gifts and wants us to know how, where, and when our money should go. First, you earn money, one cent at a time. Then you give, save, or spend each penny, quarter, nickel, and dime. James 1 and 17 tells us, Every good and perfect gift is from above. How do you earn it? I'm here to say, if you put your mind to it, you'll think of a way. A lemonade stand, a few extra chores, wash a car, walk a dog, help with bags at the stores. Penny earned five nickels at her lemonade stand. That equals one quarter Nick earned 50 cents for raking up all the leaves and 50 cents for carrying the bags to the curb. Penny and Nick earned one dollar each at the car wash. How much have you earned? Count each coin one by one. You've made three dollars and 50 cents when the counting is done. You should do a good job when there's working to do. God says to work hard and his words always true. Colossians 3 and 23 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for men. Already you've saved $7.81. The very first thing you can do with your money may be an idea that some think is funny. Give your money away with a cheerful heart. God loves when we share what was his from the start. 2 Corinthians 9 and 17 says, God loves a cheerful giver. Each Sunday you can give money to your church. This money is called an offering. Your offering money helps pay for the church building, the people who work there, and all the great ways your church helps people. God tells us to give an offering 
that is at least 10% of what we make. How many dimes do you see below? That's right, 10. If you give one dime out of 10 to God, you've given 10%. That's called a tithe. See, this dime is your tithe. Leviticus 27 and 30 says, A tithe of everything belongs to the Lord. Wow, you've saved $11.21. You can spend money too. <laughs> wow, that can be fun. Picking out toys, games, and bubble gum. But make good decisions. Ask, should I get this? Hmm, why? God wants us to be careful of the things that we buy. Nick wants to buy a goldfish. How much money will it be? Sometimes Penny and Nick think too much about all the stuff they don't have. Then they remember that God has given us all many good gifts. Even if we can't buy all the toys we want, we can still be thankful and happy. 1 Timothy 6 and 8 says, if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. Penny has two quarters. Which toy can she buy? Now, they've saved $14.61. Some things that you want might cost a bit more. You see them each time you go to the store. Save up your money and soon you will see you can buy what you've hoped for more easily. Penny has eight quarters in her piggy bank. How many dollars is that? You can save for short-term goals. It might take you two to six months to save for these things. You can save for long-term goals, too. Put money in a savings account to use later for college or a car. When you're older, you'll be glad you did. How much money does Nick have in his savings jar? Now that you've learned all we have to say, we hope that you'll use all your money God's way. As you've gone along, you've put coins in each slot. We guess you'd like to know how much money you've got. You have $20.21. And we're at the end. Ask God's help to decide how you'll give, save, and spend. Ecclesiastes 2 and 26 tells us, God gives wisdom. Thanks for listening to the story. I hope you've learned ways to save your money. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your wisdom. Help us, Father, to save our money. Help us to spend it wisely and help us to give it with a loving heart. Bless all of the families who are listening today. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.